and what I wanted to talk to you today guys is uh, the new plane we got yesterday on Xbox which is the uh, airliner the Boeing 737 Max now we've had this on PC for quite a while but it just got released on consoles and I've been getting uh, lots of messages about this plane is it worth it should I invest on it now, now the first question you're gonna ask yourself guys is a uh, is this a fully functional plane no it's not is it a study level god no it's not it's got this plane looks great as far as looks of this game this plane looks uh, very nice interior looks great as well it's not perfect but it looks great same for the exterior you got uh, some great liberties I think you got eight liberties on it they've done a great job with the liberties on the liberties I would say 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 now on PC uh, the size of the file is uh, around 8.8 .8 gigabytes on consoles I think uh, to be exact is a uh, 2.2 gigabytes now I just uh, installed this today on PC so I've been testing it on PC I played yesterday on Xbox and I've uh, done a couple of videos on Xbox so you guys have been commenting what's the deal with this plane is it worth getting now the main problem with this with this plane uh, is the automatic throttle and dethrottle now on the runway you can dethrottle and throttle that's fine but as soon as you go in the air the plane is going to take over the automatic thing is going to take over and it's not uh, the AI or it's uh, just uh, how it was done you can turn all the AI stuff or co-pilot or assist you can turn all that off and the plane is still going to do the same so it's not that now that's a big problem for me because when I try to land this plane is going to behave funny as soon as you want to try to go and land the plane is going to think that you're going to crash so it's going to automatically accelerate and it's, and it's going to stop you from doing what you want to do and that that is difficult to handle I've crashed so many times with this plane and that's the main problem for me as you can see there I'm moving the throttle that's fine now as soon as you go in the air that's gonna stop the plane's gonna control itself and that's the main problem in the air that's fine you can handle it in the air but uh, when it comes to if you want to do things manually what I've been doing is uh, I've put the flaps all the way down same with the speed brakes I've been putting them all the way all the way so I've been trying to manually try to control this plane even though the plane is automatically trying to control itself I've been trying to counter-attack the AI and I'm not an expert on planes but even I I know that you need to fight that it doesn't make it perfect but you can try to handle it now you need to focus 100% on the landing because it's not easy with this plane I mean the landing can you can get a nightmare in the most easy situation now on the previous videos I've landed this thing on storm which it was incredible for me because I'm not a pilot I'm just an enthusiast and just an amateur and I managed to land this on Heathrow in the storm and the wind was crazy I, I don't know how I did it guys I had to I had to go around it a couple of times but I did it and I didn't crash so that was like a personal achievement for me not to crash on that but I've been crashing on on the simple things so that's you gotta that's what you gotta think about guys if you wanna buy this plane it's not uh, you haven't got full control of the plane the plane is it's got control most of the time the only control you got is when you on the runway you wanna try to brake and when you try to get off the runway that's it that's the all control you got you can turn off the engines it's gonna and you gotta turn them back on same thing it's not gonna affect anything and you got the two gauges or the two round things in the main it's not showing now on the screen but you they don't whatever you do you can uh, accelerate decelerate they're not gonna move they're just a small two round thing that say engine on the left 
whatever you do, they're not gonna move. It's just a bug. That's not, they're not gonna do anything. So that's the problem with this uh, plane. Uh, is it worth paying for it? 20 quid? I think it's 20 pounds. Uh, it depends, guys. If you wanna have a challenge, and you like this plane, and you like the deliveries, they might fix it in the future. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this plane, but... Uh, I know 20 quid is not a lot, but it's still a lot for something that doesn't work. Because this plane is like a flying duck. It's not easy. It's not an easy plane. E even even a pilot probably would have a difficult time trying to control this plane in the ground when you try to land. I'm not kidding, guys. I'm not kidding. It's not easy. So that's what you're going to think. Is that 20 quid worth it? Me, I had to get it, because there's not many... And now on screen you can see, as you can see on the screen now, it says engine on the top, and engine does one, one. You can see the two round things, not the speed of the mer, but the, not the altitude, but that thing there. And those things don't move, whatever you do, they're just gonna stay full. At the max, they're gonna stay at the max. So I don't know what the deal is. I think it's a bug for the people that created the plane, I think it's a bug. I hope they fix it. Yeah, so... So that's it, guys. Uh, anything else on the plane? Uh, now the main... Uh, yeah, as far as looks, I think it's great. It's beautiful. And... Uh, interior, and the cockpit, as you can see, it's fine, everything looks great on it. I prefer the PC version myself, because it looks just a bit cleaner. But uh, nothing wrong with the consoles. I've got the Series X and the Series S, and they're both amazing. Even the Series S has surprised me with this game. I mean, even even for that console to handle this game. It's something that... Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen that before, for a console that's small. To handle a, a game like this that uh, my PC can handle. That's quite impressive. It's not going to look amazing, but it looks decent. If you've got a nice TV, it's going to look great. The Series X, of course, looks the closest to the PC. But, uh, yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, if you want to test this plane out, I don't know, why not? You give it a try. You give it a try. You can see the throttles there. If you want to try to move them when you're flying, they're not going to work. Whatever you do, they're not going to move. You're gonna move them up and down, but not, it's not gonna affect the plane. So everything is down to the, I don't know if this computer or the glitch they've done, or I don't know the people that created this plane, they've done something to it that it affects it, whatever altitude you go. But that's what it is. This plane is prevent is preventing you from falling, basically. That's what it does. Whatever you, whenever you wanna try and hit the land, it's gonna think you're gonna crash. So it's gonna automatically throttle and accelerate. So that's that's what makes it hard when you're trying to land. Is that is that thing. That's what I had the most problems with. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think that's all I can talk about this plane at the moment. It's got the same problems on PC that it's got on consoles. So it's not uh, just the consoles, it's the same problems on PC. It's nothing, it's exactly the same problems. So don't think that uh, only consoles have got it bad. It's on PC as well. So guys, uh, maybe you can wait like a month. Maybe they'll fix it now that it's out on consoles. They release an update and fix it. But at the moment, I cannot recommend this plane. I didn't want to do this video and not recommend this plane, but uh, it is what it is, guys. There's nothing I can do. I'm just going to try to warn you about this plane. It's up, entirely up to you if you want to get it. If you like this plane on my videos, it's up to you. I'm not going to say, don't get it. It's up to you, entirely up to you, but I cannot recommend it because of the faults it's got. I would have loved this plane to be amazing. because I, lo I love the plane itself. It's just these problems. So it's up to you guys if you want to get it. If you got 20 quid. Maybe you don't get it now. Get it next week. The week after. Up to you. It depends on 
your financial. So uh, thanks guys, thanks for watching and hope uh, I help you out. So take care and all the best and thanks for liking my videos and all the best. Anything just uh, comment down below guys. Take care and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks very much.